Hey guys, John Hammond here, continuing on some of the Bandit Over the Wire levels that just recently came out. Uh, looking at level 29, and it looks like they're up to like level 32 now, so let's jump in. This is another Git repository that we can uh, download once we connect to the user account. So head on over to our terminal, connect, and let's make a directory for us to work in. And then we can git clone that repo. Sweet. Yep, uh, we will need the password there, so let's just get that out, throw it in our... Great. Alright, so we have the repository. Let's check out what this readme says. It says, okay, credentials for Bandit 30, but no password in production. Mm. So let's check out what other commits they might have been. Um, initial cognitive readme. Okay, let's get show that. Okay, that's the same thing. Did I grab the wrong one or something? Whatever. Let's try this one where it says we fix username. Oh yeah, originally it was 30 though. No, okay. It was, originally it was 29, they fixed it to 30. So I see. But still no change in the password. Okay. Um, so this, this note of no password in production makes me think of like, well, this is the master branch, right? Like if I check out what branch of the development I'm on, I only see that I am on master. But that's what we have downloaded right now is our local copy, but there may be other remote branches or other uh, like versions or, or like functionality of the software that needs to still be developed if you're doing this in a real like GitHub repository. So there is typically a development branch. So if I wanted to see all the other possible branches, I can do git branch tack A and it, there's some notes here. Okay, we have remote origin head, where we are currently for origin master, uh, dev, and master exploits dev. So let's check out some of these. And the way we can do that is literally git checkout and then the name of that branch. Great. Okay, so git log, see where we're at. Initial commit of readme, blah, blah, blah. Let's check out what this one is. Can get show that. And no password there. Looks like it has just to ask you, add data needed for developments. Was that the original one that we missed? Oh yeah, okay, great. So just like that, looks like we have the password for Bandit 30. If we wanted to, we could again check out those other branches and uh, that will let us explore whatever that exploits dev was and other things that they had in there. But something that I like to do, and this is probably pretty cheesy and a bad hack, but git log if I like to just grep for the commits, and then I'll cut them up and get just the identifiers, and I can scrape whatever I need if I don't want that last one. But what I'll, what I'll do while following that is I'll like route read line, just pipe that into a while loop, and then I'll do git show, I think it's no page or something. And it'll, it'll yell at me if I'm wrong. Yeah. What is that in git show that doesn't paginate? Sometimes it will uh, just completely ignore it. No abrev. All right, I'm going to abort that mission. <laughs> we can just, like, we don't need that that argument. I may be thinking of a completely different command, who knows, or no page or whatever. But yeah, sometimes you can just pipe it all out and give that to less or whatever you want to do. And you can just try and find, like, okay, here's everything in green or red that they actually modified or added in the uh, repository by just using that... <sighs> SHA-1 ID all along. Another cool thing is git grep. Like, if we wanted to git grep for password, you could track down, like, okay, where was it wherever in, in, how, in whatever many cases. And that's a good way to just search for a specific thing in how, wherever you are in your repository, whatever branch or whatever uh, commit message you're looking at, etc. So, keep those in mind. But this challenge was just about checking out the different branches that you can access within that git repository. So, Keep note of bandit30. Again, we've got that password saved, and now we can move on to that in the next video. So, cool.
I want to give a small plug for the Discord server that we just recently got started up um, after a stream that I tried for the first time this weekend. It's a lot of cool people just kind of joking around, having a great time, jamming out, talking about cyber, talking about programming, talking about CTFs and hacking stuff. So if you want to be part of that scene, you want to hang out with other people that throw out memes and talk about code every now and again, it's, it's pretty cool. So please come chime in and we'll go through some more challenges and do it for real. Along with that, I want to give a special shout out to my supporters, people that are giving me some love on Patreon. I cannot say thank you enough, uh, especially because this list is getting a little bit longer and it's it's really incredible to uh, see you guys pour some love into this because uh, I'm so, so grateful you're willing to go on this adventure with me. Um, uh, Thanks so much. $1 on Patreon will give you a shout-out just like this at the end of every video. $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to any of the videos that I record. Because normally I record in bulk, and I'll release them slowly. Uh, and YouTube will just gradually deploy them one after another, like, day by day. But if you want them all at once when the video is ready, uh, just $5 a month, that all it takes. Hey, if you did like this video, please do press that like button. Maybe leave me a comment if you're willing. If you're subscribed if you want to. Or uh, check us out on Discord. Check me out on Patreon. Go to my website, www.johnhammond. Do all the cool sharing things. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.